What's poppin' and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we have a brand new series that's outside of the starting and startup that we'll be doing up until now. I call it three hour build. Essentially what we'll be doing is building an app in three hours and today we're gonna be building a money app. So what I'm gonna do is gonna turn around, switch on the timer and just start coding away on a money saving app. Let's do it. So I'm gonna head over to my computer here and I'm gonna switch on the alarm three hours, here we go. So here we have this kind of standard boilerplate for the app on Flutter. Basically it's what you get when you open the open a new app in Flutter, so we're gonna have to change this a little bit to fit our needs. But I have found a very nice inspiration that I'm gonna use. So we have this kind of nice green kind of money app. So this is what we're gonna try and build in three hours. It's gonna be a little bit of a challenge, but we'll see if we manage to do it. I hope so, I believe so. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so what I built now is just a quick little uh, bottom navigation bar. So basically we have a couple of pages. We have a transaction page, a home page, and an accounts page. Uh, down here we have a little navigation bar. And uh, that's just when I press one of these, I will be directed to the other screen. So basically what this is, is that we have a scaffold, and inside of the scaffold we have an indexed stack. Essentially what this is, is just we have a stack of pages where I can then switch, base, uh, switch the page based on the press of a single button, for example. So inside of this index stack, uh, we have a bottom navigation bar, and on the bottom navigation bar, when this is tapped, we set the state of the app and we change the uh, current index of the app to the index that we're pressing on the navigation bars. So for example, now when we press transactions, we're switching the index, which means that we're switching the current index, which is up here. And when we do that, we're telling the index stack, which has children's screens, which is this list of pages here, to switch the index to whatever we're pressing. So if I'm pressing the account uh, transaction page, we're switching the index to index one. If I'm pressing the accounts page, we're switching the index to index two, and home page back to index zero, etc. So, pretty good stuff. I've done this in like 15 minutes, and I also set the app up a little bit. Now we're gonna build a home page. Let's get to it. Okay, so I kind of built the foundation, we still have the transaction account page to go, but we kind of have the layout of the home page, which I guess is the main part, and Monisa looks the best. So now we've added a little nice screen top here, but now we're going to add the list, so we're going to see, you know, what are our upcoming expenses, we're going to build a little filter so you can see what, what's up coming up in the next week, etc. So, uh, yeah, let's see if we can do that. first thing that I started working on after this was the whole main page and obviously this is what needs to look the most aesthetic since this is the first thing that meets your eye when you open the app and this is definitely what I spent the most time on like two hours just passed by my life and I had no clue what was even going on I was stuck in some kind of alternative universe just working around on this and the interesting thing was I didn't even listen to music I didn't do anything I was just focused locked in and loaded working on this app which was pretty cool to see so I started off by making a vertical list builder at the top where you can just drag the whole screen and then you have a whole list of your entire home screen. So that's a list view in itself. This vertical list view contains two horizontal list views, which is first the planning ahead row, which will then show you your expenses for this week. And then it will also show you the upcoming expenses. Then after that, there's another vertical list view at the bottom that has a horizontal list view on top of it, which is basically just the days. So you can click this day is the intention and you'll be able to see what are my expenses for this particular day. However, I didn't really get this to work as you will hear about later. But under this, I added another list view, which I thought looked pretty good. I can definitely work on this one. This is the thing that doesn't look the best in my opinion. 
but it still works and still gets the job done. It shows you your last week's expenses uh, and then the details about them, which I thought looked pretty sick. <laughs> left exactly so i kind of managed to build a little list here it looking looking quite good like it could be better it could be worse uh i haven't really gotten this to work yet i'm trying to make it so when i click one of these dates i will also get the list to filter but that doesn't really work yet however we only have 58 minutes left of this three hour build and it's looking quite good i mean there's some aesthetic change we can make but i think i'm going to move on to the transactions page and the accounts page since Essentially, those are the. I, I just want to get those done so we have somewhat of a complete app. Obviously, it's in three hours, so you can't really do that much. But we're going to do our best to make this look as good as possible within the three hours that we have. So let's get to the transaction page instead. At this point, I was really running out of time, so I really had to rush the last page, which was the transaction page. I ended up doing an upcoming transactions and a past transactions so you could kind of distinguish what kind of cost do I have coming up and which ones have I already paid for. Obviously this could be done in one page if you had more time and had time to mix with filters etc. But I really had this luxury so I had to finish it all uh, in around 30 minutes which ended up just me making two pages that looked exactly the same but one had past transactions and one had upcoming transactions. Turned out pretty good though. Okay, wow, I've been standing here for like two and a half hours just coding away and I feel like right now my head's like I'm hearing voices, you know, going cray cray. But, okay, we've done almost everything except for the accounts page. So we have this not really nice looking, okay looking homepage where you can see uh, a bit of an overview. We have upcoming transactions, we have past transactions, and now we're going to make an accounts page. We have exactly, let's go to the timer, 33 minutes and 5 seconds left. So we spent two and a half hours on all this other stuff. I countered some problems, but it's gone, gone quite smooth. Obviously there's not too much function on the app because, you know, I haven't really had time to do that. But we're gonna try to make an account page in 30 minutes and then finish up some other finishing touches in the last couple of seconds. Let's hope we don't run out of time. Let's continue. It's been around three hours. I'm just finishing up the last touch now, removing all these errors. And the timer will go off in four, three, two, one. Annoying ass sound. Okay, that was that. Three hour builds, episode one, done in the books, which is pretty cool. But let me go through exactly what it is that I built. I'm quite tired now. Like, I've worked nine hours during the day, came home. Uh, now worked another three hours on this app, so I'm quite exhausted. It's been like I'm hearing voices, you know, going a little bit crazy, feeling like I'm in some outer dim dimension somewhere. But we are done with this. Let's go quickly through what it looks like. I will be posting this on GitHub, I think, so that you can improve on it because there's a lot to improve. I was doing it in such a rush that I am not really sure if any of this makes any sense to anyone else or if it's de it's definitely not clean code, but pretty cool in three hours. I'm quite happy with it. But let me restart this, restart the screen recording and we'll go over what the app looks like. Okay, here we are. This is the app. Uh, this is the front page that you're greeted with when you end up, uh, end up on the initial screen. You can kind of have your little profile picture. You'll say, okay, I'm getting paid in a week so I can budget based on that for example then after that we have a nice little list builder where you can see all of the upcoming expenses that you have based on like a recurring kind of payment like you have your spotify your amazon prime whatever then the way that didn't get done was this little list building here what i wanted this to be was a filter where you could for example see monday you'd press monday then here you'd get only mondays but i didn't really get this to work yet i, I ran out of time essentially so uh maybe you can get that sorted if you want to but after that you can see, okay, kind of the, the past transactions, okay, this is what I spent money on last week, maybe I can adapt my budget based on that, for example, just simple stuff. Uh, 
But yeah, I think it looks pretty aesthetic. Could be better, could be worse, but for three hours, I'm relatively happy with it. Then we have another list builder uh, where you can see upcoming transactions, the category of it, when it will take place, how much it is, etc. Just also, again, relatively basic stuff. Then we have past transactions, which is what the name suggests transactions that have taken place in the past. And you can kind of view the category, there's some, etc. Then you have the account page where you can see basic account stuff that you can see on most apps like my account, my banking details, my subscription, all of those kinds of things. And you can of course log out. But yeah, all in all, three hours from around 8 o'clock till 11 o'clock on a Friday evening. I'm relatively happy with this after a long day of work as well. I think it looks okay. Like it could definitely be improved. Like if I were to take more time with this, I'd definitely improve this list builder at the bottom. I don't think it looks super good. I also make this filter work for example. And then also, of course, I'll add functionality so you can actually view the different types of uh, transactions. You can also change them, edit them, add recurring ones, etc. But the, right now, this is more like a UI since you don't really have time to do more than that in three hours. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that was that for that video. This is the first series in what I'm going to call like the three-hour build where I'm going to be replicating like production apps like Instagram, Facebook, etc. Or I'm going to be making my own apps like I kind of did today. So I think this is going to be quite fun. It's going to be quite educational, I hope, and I'm going to learn a lot at least. Maybe you can too. Quite fun stuff. I'm going to be posting all of this stuff on uh, all of the code on GitHub. So if you want to try this yourself, you want to edit the code a little bit, then feel free to do so in the link down below. Other than that, please leave a like down below if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're notified when these videos come up so you can follow the progress of the startup as well as these other side videos. But with that said, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.